You are welcome. First go to File. Click Project Setting and change the Aspect Ratio to 1 to 1. Afterward go to Stock Media. Under Solid Color, drag down a color and crop to fit. Afterward drag down any picture above and click to apply rectangular mask and further adjust as shown on the screen. Now scroll down and adjust the blur to two and other for it blend with the white background. Drag down text title and adjust as shown on the screen. Take a snapshot. Now press and hold the Alt key on the keyboard as you drag down another picture right on the picture on the timeline to change the picture and take another snapshot. Again press and hold the Alt key on the keyboard as you drag down another picture on the picture on the timeline and take another snapshot. Further continue to press and hold the Alt key on the keyboard as you drag down another picture on the picture on the timeline and take more snapshots until the last picture. Once you are done, delete everything on the timeline. Now go back to file to change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. Drag down a background and extend. Drag down 6 snapshot. Afterward move playhead to 3 seconds and highlight all to split and delete the rest. Click the last snapshot. Scale down to 80. Also go to effect to apply ink effect and further copy effect and highlight the rest of the snapshots to paste the effect. Now hide all the snapshots except the first snapshot. Adjust the zoom level to 10 if necessary. To animate from top left corner outside the screen. Apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. Then go back to position X to type minus 1396 and position Y 108. Move playhead 10 frames forward OR to 10 seconds. Then go back to apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. So for position X type minus 602. Posture Y 162 then rotation to minus 10. Afterward preview. Now move playhead 5 frames forward. Unhide second snapshot. And move forward accordingly. Again to animate from top left corner outside the screen to the center of the screen. Apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. Then go back to position X to type minus 1396 and position Y 108. Move playhead 10 frames forward. Then go back to apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. So for position X type 95, posture Y 87 then rotation to 10. Afterward preview. Unhide third snapshot and apply keyframe. To animate from top right corner outside the screen to the screen. Apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. Then go back to position X to type 1396 and position Y 108. Move playhead 10 frames forward. Then go back to apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. So for position X type 576. Posture Y 171 then rotation to minus 10. Afterward preview. For the fourth snapshot. Unhide and move playhead 15 frames forward as well as snapshot. 
To animate from right outside the screen to screen, apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. Then go back to position X to type 1396 and position Y minus 108. Move playhead 10 frames forward. Then go back to apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. So for position X type 580, position Y minus 437 then rotation to minus 10. Afterward preview. Move playhead 20 frames forward. Unhide fifth snapshots as well as moving it. To animate from right outside the screen, apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. Then go back to position X to type 1396 and position Y minus 742. Move playhead 10 frames forward. Then go back to apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. So for position X type 7.72, Postion Y minus 512, then rotation to 10. Afterward preview. Move playhead 25 frames forward. Unhide and move the sixth snapshot as shown. To animate from top right down corner outside the screen. Apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. Then go back to position X to type 1396 and position Y minus 944. Move playhead 10 frames forward. Then go back to apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. So for position X type minus 611, position Y minus 512, then rotation to 10. Afterward preview. Move playhead 23 frames forward and drag down a snapshot. To animate from left corner outside the screen to the center, apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. Then go back to scale down to 80. In position X to type minus 1396 and position Y minus 3.97. Move playhead 10 frames forward. Then go back to apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. So for position X type 0 or restore. Postion Y type 0 or restore then rotation to 5. Afterward preview. Move playhead to 3 seconds. Highlight all the snapshots. Split and delete the rest. Then adjust the zoom back to fit the screen. Now move playhead to 205. Further go to the first snapshots to apply keyframe animation. Here the focus is on rotation and opacity. So only apply keyframe to both rotation and opacity then move the playhead to the end and restore both back to zero. Continue the same process above, but as you apply second keyframe on each snapshot move a frame back. Highlight all the snapshots, copy and paste beside and preview. Paste. In other for the slides not be the same, the pictures of the second paste set of pictures will be changed and the last picture its direction of animation will also be changed from right to center. Now to change the snapshots on the timeline. Press and hold the ALT key on the keyboard as you drag another snapshots on each on the timeline. In order to change the direction of the last snapshot from right to center, click on the first keyframe and only change the X position to 1396 by deleting only the minus. Again, highlight, copy and paste beside. Change each pictures with the same procedures.
For the animation of the last snapshot be changed from bottom to center. Change X position to 0 and Y position to minus 972. Again highlight. Copy and paste as shown then change each pictures by pressing and holding Alt key as you drag on. For the animation of the last snapshot be changed from top to center. Change X position to minus 97 and Y position to 970. To make more slides, highlight the four sets of snapshot, copy and paste them as shown on the screen. Only press and hold the Alt key as you drag snapshot on the last snapshot on each set of pictures on the timeline. Just the four set of pictures pasted as shown.